Real quick, if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe and trigger the bell to be notified every time I upload. Now let's get right into the video. Hey, real quick before the video starts, sorry about no uploads for the past three days. I was out of town spending time with family, big family party on Sunday. So I did watch the games, I just didn't have a chance to record after the previous recap that I made on Friday. So I apologize for that. I know I should have been uploading, I just didn't get a chance to. I apologize if you were looking out for the post game recaps, but they are returning now in full force and should be out every single day. Let's get into the video. With that in mind, the White Sox dropped their fourth consecutive game all at home to drop to three and six on the season. They started off the season they're through the first five games, three and two on the road, looked effective. Offense was lively, pitching was great. Then you come to this homestand, we don't have a single lick of offense, and the pitching is erratic. Today, Carson Fulmer was not himself. We saw Carson Fulmer towards the end of last season, and especially in his first start up in Toronto this season, he looked really, really good. He had command of his pitches. The strikeout pitch was working for him. He had some high, you know, mid-90 velo, which you would want to see from Fulmer. That's the type of pitcher he is. And tonight, today was the exact opposite. Fulmer struggled with his command, didn't have too much of an effective strikeout pitch. Six walks given up versus four strikeouts for Fulmer. That's on his line tonight. He got, obviously he was tagged with the loss. He didn't even go five innings today, gave up three earned runs. Just keep in mind that the White Sox as a team had seven at the end, when it was all said and done at the end of the ball game, a couple of which came in the ninth inning. So either way, Carson Fulmer didn't look that good today. Not what we would expect him to do moving forward, but it just seems like in this stretch that the White Sox are in in these past four games, nothing has really gone right for them on the mound or at the plate. And speaking of the plate, the White Sox offense was abysmal up until the ninth inning. Once the ninth inning hit, something clicked for the lineup. They saw the pitches better. Obviously, Blake Snell was out of the ball game, but they had a better eye. They walked a couple of times in that ninth inning, got a couple of hits. Jose Abreu with a monstrous three-run homer to center field late in that ninth inning against Colome. The offense, that's the first time. The ninth inning of today's game against the Rays is the first time in four games where I can say that the White Sox offense was actually alive because at the start of the season they looked very lively they looked good they looked fun looked like an offense that could potentially be a threat against teams this season maybe not consistently but it could be there at times through four games at home this season they've looked terrible until the ninth inning of today's game and at that point it was too little too late it was a route coming into the ninth inning they were down six to one and then they tagged the the Rays bullpen for four in the ninth inning the final inning it was just too little too late. You need to have that type of offense earlier in the game if you want any type of success moving forward. I don't have much else to say about the game, but once again, the White Sox did lose six to five today. Unfortunate, it's unfortunate. Dropping four consecutive games all at home, that's not what you wanna see from this White Sox team. It's not something that you would expect after the way they performed at the very beginning of the season on the road, but we'll see what happens moving forward. Final game, the rubber match of the Ray with the Rays tomorrow. We'll see what happens with that. Let's see if the White Sox can pick up their first home victory. I will be back with the post game recap with that tomorrow. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. Please be sure to give it a like if you did enjoy the video. Make sure you trigger the bells for the notifications every time I upload. And again, my apologies for not uploading a video the past three days. I am back with the videos as per usual. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace.